Hey, uh, are you looking for something? Uh, no, I was just well, thinking. Well, what are you going through my stuff for? I wasn't. I was just looking for a screwdriver. Well, baby, no, they're not in here. They're in here. <laughs> they're all hidden. How's your wife doing? <laughs> Here you go. It might be kind of salty. I might have put too much in. That's fine. It's good. So, you know, we haven't really talked about what happened. No, I really don't want to talk about it right now. So I just want to eat. I know, but if we talk about it, it always seems to make it better. Well, we'll talk about it. So I'm going to talk about it right now. I'm trying to eat dinner. It's not healthy. I can do this. I'm leaving. Where are you going? Wherever I want. I got your message. What's going on? I guess what happened to me affected me more than I thought it did. What do you mean? I'm starting to see things that don't make any sense. Like yesterday, after you called me. I was just going about my day, and I stumbled across my husband's bag. Usually, I just put it up with the rest of his stuff. But this time, I looked in it, and... So what did you find? I found everything you described to me. Everything that was used to beat up the guy that attacked me was in my husband's bag. Mrs. Brown, please, just calm down. There could be over a thousand reasons why those things could be in your husband's bag. Tell me about him. Where is he from? Uh... He's from here. He's an orphan. I'm really the only family he's got. He pretty much just keeps to himself. What does he do? He's a mechanic. He fixes cars. See? There you go. He uses those things for work. I, I just don't know what to think anymore. I'm finding potential murder weapons in my house. My husband's acting so weird, he's even starting to scare me when he gets in these, these moods. I see this all the time. He just got angry because he wasn't there to protect you. 